Welcome back. Coming up, Corinne learns about the sex industry. We have Tommy Stowers singing right here in the house. But until then, let's find out how New Zealand's supply of sugar is made. Cheers. Oops! Sorry about that. You're gonna get it, Bing! Technology. Sugar. Where does it come from and how did it end up in your bowl of cereal? Well, I'm here at the Chelsea Sugar Refiner in Birkenhead to find out. I mean, why else would I be dressed like this? And with me is Alan Dobby. Alan works for Chelsea, not the football club, but the refinery. Alan, what is a refinery? A refinery is somewhere where we bring in raw sugar, which is sugar that's come off the uh, sugar fields in Australia. In fact, the sugar cane is squeezed, we recover the juice, and then make it into a very impure form of sugar. It's not the type of raw sugar you see on the supermarket shelf, but it's uh, a product that's not fit for human consumption, and we then purify it into pure sucrose. Chassis, do they only specialise in white sugar? No, we do pretty much the full range of sugars you can buy. So we do white sugars, we do brown sugars, we do raw sugars, golden syrups, we even do maple syrups. Was this building built specifically for sugar? That's right. Back in 1883, the New Zealand government wanted a sugar refinery in New Zealand. And they put a tender out, a company called the Colonial Sugar Refinery, won that tender and they started building and completed in 1884. Now, who are you making the sugar for? We make the sugar for pretty much all of New Zealand and the Pacific Islands, and also a little bit out to Asia as well. Wow. Are there any other sugar refineries here in New Zealand? No, we're the only one. So the ships come in bringing the sugar. This is the first step in the process, I guess? That's right. This is the Chelsea port where the ship comes in, docks alongside. We unload the ship using the large grab behind me, and then we convey it up to a store and store it there prior to taking it into the refinery. Well, I'm here to follow that process through, so can you show me? Sure, can. Oh. Wow. So this is raw sugar? That's right, Henry. So that big mountain behind us is all nothing but raw sugar? Exactly. Wow. How many tonnes of sugar is that behind us? There's about 25,000 tonne behind us. The whole store's going to hold about 42,000 tonne. Damn. Is this good enough for me to eat right now? No, I wouldn't recommend that at all. That's an impure agricultural product and it's definitely not recommended for eating. We're going to refine it and purify it before it's fit for humans. And it comes in here, it's impure. What happens next? Well, we take it off into the factory where we dissolve it and start to purify it, remove everything else but the sucrose. All right, what are we waiting for? Let's do it. Geez, Alan, it's hot in here. Is this the next stage of the process, is it? Yep. Yeah, what room is this? This is called the melt house, this room. This is where we bring the sugar, raw sugar in. Yep. We mix it with um, some liquor we call raw wash, and then we spin it around in very, very large baskets. That gets rid of a lot of the impurities that sit on the surface of the crystal. What are some of the impurities that you're talking about? Oh, we're talking about proteins and fibres that are associated with the cane that come in from Australia. Gotcha. We then drop it down into the melters below, which is a big tank of hot water and dissolve all that, all that sugar. Put it through some filters, finally put it into a decolorization process, which is uh, using carbon, and we allow the um, sugar liquor to pass through the carbon, and that removes the remaining of the impurities prior to going over to the crystallization area. Once it's gone through this process, is it good enough for me to taste? That sure is, so we're going to give it a taste. Sweet. The raw sugar's been purified and it's ready for a taste test? Sure is, Henry. All right. OK, here you go. So that's pure sugar dissolved in water. Liquid sugar. It's hot too. Mm, that's real sweet. That's nice. It is. So now what we've got to do is take it over to um, where we call the pan floor and we've got to remove all the water and that'll turn it into a crystal, which is what you know as sugar you buy in the supermarket. All right, let's do that. Get your salad, that's really good stuff. From purification to crystallisation, how does it all work? OK, what we do is we boil it up in these pans and we boil it under very specialised conditions so we can create the crystal sizes we want. Each one of these pans will make about 40 tonne of sugar wow. and we make about 1,000 tonne of sugar a day. And then we end up with this, white sugar crystals. Wow. Brown sugar, white sugar. From here, it's ready to be packaged up. That's right, it goes through a silo into the packing area where we put it into all sorts of different formats for retail or industrial customers. OK, let's pack up and co. OK, cheers. Alan, we've been through the crystallisation process and now it's looking like sugar. Yep. And then it's sent here. 
that bright, and this is where we're packing it into a packet for the supermarket shelves. Behind it, you see a 1.5 kilo bag being packed. We do about 73,000 a week, about 14,000 a day. Wow. To send those out to the supermarket every day. Are there any other different types of packaging available? We do everything from a 20 tonne container down to a little 3 gram sachet for the cafe bars and that sort of thing. Where, where does it go from here? Here it's loaded down into a warehouse where we stack it, load it onto trucks and then dispatch it around the country. So it's loaded onto trucks? Well let's get trucking then. Cool. Right. I'll follow you. Right, big fifth day lover to Alan and the crew here at Chelsea for showing this brown sugar how raw sugar is refined and crystallised, ready for you and me. Well, I'm off to deliver. Thank you, Henry. Take care, mate. See you later. What time is it? It's prize time. <laughs> This week, win yourself this ultimate pair of Javiana's Jandals. Log on to the website and answer this question. What is the name of the sugar refinery that I visit? Great. Uh, coming up after the break, Corinne finds out about the sex industry. And I catch up with Karina, Tommy Stowers. Uh. Ah. Oh. Oh. Okay, bye! Oh.